Coaching is a very effective way to further develop your best staff, your managers and high performers. For nearly all businesses, your staff are your business. Your staff make the decisions, set direction, produce what you sell and so on. Your managers and high performers make the biggest impact on the success of your business. Generally speaking, the better your managers and high performers, the more successful the business. I'm sharing five key factors that make coaching so effective for managers and high performers, why you should build coaching skills in all managers, and finally, why confidentiality becomes important when coaching senior managers. Managing and leading others is a difficult and complex job. Every person in a team is different. Every situation faced is different, by a little bit or by a lot. The range of skills needed to effectively lead is wide. On top of these challenges, the leader's mindset and approach make a big difference to how their teams work and deliver. Becoming a good leader and manager is very much a personal journey as well as a professional journey. You know, how the manager views others, their assumptions, their life experiences, their values and their personality all help or hinder their ability to manage others. Coaching helps the individual change the personal factors that are hindering them as well as work on the professional skills to lead. This is one of the factors that makes coaching so effective. My name is Jess Coles and if you're new here, Enhanced.Training shares people management expertise, resources and courses teaching you how to build high performing teams. I've included links to additional videos and resources in the description below as well as a video timestamp so do take a look at these. And if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We will start with five key factors that make coaching so effective for managers and these are Firstly, active development better engages managers to improve themselves. Secondly, self-awareness and self-management are key factors in managing others and coaching works on both. Third, coaching encourages taking responsibility and ownership, both vital to great management. Fourth, being coached helps develop coaching skills in the individual. Fifth, coaching is a very tailored development experience which targets the most important areas for each individual and does so in minimal time. Why each of these makes coaching so effective for managers and high performers? Firstly, coaching is a one-on-one -on -one development approach which uses questions, challenge and feedback to get the individual thinking and solving their own problems. This is much more effective than training because the solutions are created by the individual who has the best knowledge of the situation. Plus, the solutions belong to the individual who needs to implement them. Coaching is a very active learning experience for the individual. They are doing most of the thinking and problem solving. Secondly, the more self-aware you are as a person, the quicker and easier you'll find it to change what you do to better motivate, engage and direct the staff you manage. If you're unable to self-manage, then how are you going to have the credibility to manage others? Coaching works on both of these aspects through questioning, challenging and providing direct, honest feedback. Third, because the coaching process uses the skills and experience of the individual to create solutions, and because the individual created those solutions, their ownership and sense of responsibility for those solutions are very high. This massively improves the knowledge retention and implementation success of that solution. Fourth, experiencing coaching gives you a great opportunity to replicate and practice the skills and techniques on your team that work so well in helping you. And finally, as coaching generally follows an agenda the individual sets, the development is tailored to exactly what the individual needs to learn, making the best use of time possible to improve their management and leadership ability. All these reasons make coaching so effective for managers and high performers. You know, these talented people already have the answers. Coaching enables them to find the answers that they may not have found on their own or would have taken a lot longer to reach their answer. When managers and high performers learn quicker and create better solutions, the business gains significant benefits. Next, why you should build coaching skills in all managers. Coaching is not telling the other person stuff. Coaching is a development approach that uses questions to get the other person thinking, reflecting on what they have done and could do differently. 
coaching helps them reflect on what is stopping them taking action or what they need to change to get better outcomes. Because of the focus on helping the individual help themselves, coaching gets outcomes that more passive forms of development, like training, reading or watching videos, just can't achieve. Coaching is also very useful for helping others build skills. You know, for example, every serious athlete has a coach. By using coaching rather than telling team members stuff, you are better able to build in the other person, firstly problem solving skills, secondly decision making skills and thirdly people management skills. Problem solving, decision making and people management skills are high value skills. With more of the team being better at these skills, the team will have more capability to deliver very effective solutions and results. The manager will have less pressure on them and be able to spread the burden of overcoming challenges and obstacles across the team. By teaching your managers to use coaching skills with their team, you are expanding their management toolkit and helping them develop the next generation of leaders and managers in your business. Building coaching skills in your managers will make them much more effective managers, particularly of high-performing team members. Finally, let's cover why confidentiality becomes important when coaching senior managers. Coaching creates the biggest improvements when the individual being coached feels comfortable revealing their weaknesses, their insecurities and their issues. When revealing all of their downsides, managers and leaders need to know that they won't be disadvantaged in a very competitive workplace. If you're being coached by the person that is appraising your performance and deciding on whether you're going to be promoted or not, chances are you're not going to be very comfortable revealing many or any true weaknesses. One way to overcome this challenge is to arrange coaching by other non-line management staff you know, such as HRT members who have coaching skills. This works very well for middle management. The pressures, challenges and competitions senior managers face are even more extreme. Revealing a lot of your weaknesses and insecurities to those you lead or to those you are in competition with is generally very unattractive to senior managers. For these reasons, use specialised external coaches to develop senior management. The complete confidentiality external coaches bring, plus the stronger coaching skills they develop through specialising in coaching, are both very valuable in developing senior managers. Help your senior managers get the much needed feedback, challenge and development by using external coaches. For more information, please take a look at the resources section within the description. So in summary, coaching is very effective in further developing managers and high performers. These groups of individuals have the biggest impact on the success of a business. The better they are at their jobs, the more successful a company will be in general terms. Coaching skills are extremely useful to help team members develop their own problem solving, decision making and people management skills. This is why all managers should be taught how to use coaching skills to get more from their teams. The five key factors that makes coaching so effective for managers. If you have any questions on five factors that makes coaching so effective for managers, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Thanks very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.